Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare. So guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking about makeup that I would repurchase or buy right away when all my makeup disappeared. <laughs> so yeah, it's one of those videos that really inspired me to go on YouTube because I really like this idea. I don't know who started it. I do a lot of beauty reviews here, makeup and skincare. And aside from doing those types of videos, I also like to talk about how makeup and skincare in general affects my financial health, how I'm trying to get out of my bad spending habits from before, and really try to appreciate the stuff that I already have. So if you like those types of content, then please do subscribe to my channel as well as clicking on the notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. Alright guys, so <laughs> this is super exciting. Ito yung mga types of videos that inspired me to go on YouTube. Like these types of hypothetical situation videos, yung mga chatty videos like this. Not necessarily reviews, not necessarily, uh, you know, project-based videos, but videos like this lang. Itong mga type of content. This video idea definitely didn't come from me. I saw it from someone else, but I don't remember who na kasi it's been years, no? It's some of, it's it's on the list of video ideas that I wanted to do when I was still aspiring to be on YouTube, like before I even started my own YouTube channel. Before you find out kung ano yung mga nasa listahan ko, I hope that you comment below as well kung ano yung mga first things na siguro bibilhin niyo when your makeup all suddenly vanished, ganun. <laughs> Here, this is kind of tricky because there are some situations that I need to play around. So, it's very hypothetical lang tong situation na to. But it was very, very hard for me at least to decide what I would do. But this is, I think, what I would do. <laughs> Let's start first with how I do my makeup. I think that's the best way to go about it. First thing that I do is primer or makeup base. But usually, I don't have a primer. Because I use my skincare, yung sunscreen ko, yun ang nagiging primer ko, yun ang yung parang skin preparation ko. So I don't really use, you know, silicone based primers, moisturizing primers, or anything that is marketed as a primer. For foundation, I was in a pickle between choosing these two. So this is the BLK Illuminating Skin Tint Sun Shield and the Issy and Co Active Skin Tint. I was choosing between the two. But I ended up choosing the BLK Skin Tint Sun Shield. I'm not really a fan of something that is heavy, like full coverage, really matte. I think that this is perfect for me because it's medium coverage. Siya. At the same time, it's also lightweight. But this one is more makeup y. So I think ito na yung pinaka safer ko na bet as compared to something like this. Either of the two, illuminating or the regular one. But yeah, this is what I would use. And I am wearing vanilla. Now for the concealer. So sa concealer, I think it was very easy for me to choose um, among my concealers kung anong pagpipilian ko. And this is definitely the top. Like ito na agad yung pinaka naisip ko. Like ito na siguro yung pinaka favorite kong concealer out of everything that's in my collection right now. This is the Vice Cosmetics Flawless a Conceal and Perfect Creamy Matte Liquid Concealer. It is creamy. It is mattifying. I like how this concealer sets by itself. Like, I don't really need to think of powder. I like that it's lightweight. I like that it lasts throughout the day. Pag kinanseal ko yung aking blemishes, even while wearing a mask, hindi talaga ganun ka natatanggal yung coverage niya. I'm not really looking for a product that is full coverage again, even sa concealer. So this coverage for me is perfect. Even though that this mattifies on me over time, it looks amazing on the skin. It really looks amazing on me. I think because prepped na yung skin ko with my skincare routine, kahit na dry yung skin ko, I think that my skin can handle this. Wala siyang crepiness, hindi naman super dry yung under eyes ko. It really looks good. Like you could just put this on, blend it, and then forget it. Gadon. Ito lang siguro yung concealer that doesn't really crease on me. Like yung pinaka less likely that would settle on my under eyes. So really, really happy with this one. Chaka maganda pa yung shade match sa akin. I am in the shade Chesa, by the way. Powder, I was really, really deciding between two products. 
This is the Issy & Co. Weightless Loose Powder. Ayan, the illuminating version. And also yung AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. I ended up choosing the AOA in, the sh in Soft Light because I think it's just cheap. Um, when I was deciding this, the, my list of products, ito lang yung parang ang tawid ko na makeup. Like, I'm more concerned of getting, you know, like, preparing a look fast. I like how it's really, really inexpensive. I think 100 pesos lang ito. Although you get 7 grams of product, but that would last a long time for you. And I like how it looks like on my skin. It makes it matte but not flat. Very skin-like yung finish niya, even though that you're putting powder on your face. Like, I really like the glow. And yung glow niya, it's not something that would leave like a random speck of glitter on your face. Like very fine yung shimmers niya that would just reflect light beautifully. Yung oil control niya is not really the best, I should say. I think mga siguro 5 hours and then I would have to retouch my face. Pero syempre, that's me having dry skin. Not really sure how this one would perform on oily skin types. So... Ayan, I'm really happy with my choice with this one. Although, syempre, mas maganda yung isin ko because of the packaging and everything. But, minimum requirements, this does it. And, mura lang kasi siya. So, I think I went for this one. So, sa cheek products, I was toying around with multi-use products so that they could do many things at once with, you know, the fewer fewer amount of products. Pero, marami pa rin akong dinagdag here and there. So, okay, the first multi-use product I would uh, discuss with you is ito, si Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. And I specifically chose Winter Melon and Sea Fruit Tea. These two are my favorite shades doon sa collection nila sa Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. I really like this product. As in, sobrang amazed ako with the formula. I like how small it is. I like how hygienic it is. Ito na siguro yung pinaka-perfect na multi-use product out there. Like, from by design, by the concept, the formula, the pigmentation, blendability, and the fact that it's also buildable. It's just a beautiful product na truly is multi-purpose. I like how I could use it for my cheeks, my eyes, and my lips na hindi ako madidire sa sarili ko. Mwah! Ganda! Later on, when we talk about the lips, I would discuss they, these two would come back, but yeah. Ito. Ito na talaga yung pagpipilian ko. So, for my highlighter, I chose this one. The Muni Beauty Glow Gasm Highlighter in the shade Moonlight. So, ito yung chinus ko. Like the color, I like how you could build it up. Na sobrang glowing talaga on the skin. You could also sheer it out. You can mix it with your foundation if you want something more glowy. Ayan, I really like the liquid highlighter kasi instead of the powder one. I was thinking of choosing as well yung shimmer tint from Colored. The packaging of the shimmer tint Colored is something that scares me kasi sobrang nipis nung bottle niya. I don't think naman na makaka-survive yung <laughs> Yung bottle na yon dun sa aking makeup pouch when I travel around because of, you know, magsisiksikan siya with the other products and baka mabasag siya. I was just really scared about that. Kaya ito na lang yung pinili ko kasi it's plastic and matibay siya and maganda siya. Kalain mo, like last year pa to binili but I still like this so that says something. For my bronzer, I didn't really choose a specific bronzer na product. I thought of getting... Uh, something that I could also use for my eyes. Ito yung pinagpipili ang kong dalawa. The Vice Cosmetics X includes na face palette. And this one is the Dia palette. Siyempre, ang pinipili ko dito is the Dia palette. Ito lang kasi yung shade ng face palette eh. Yan, no? Tatlong shades ang to as compared to this one. And matagal naman maubos kasi yung mga products na to. And like I said, pang tawid lang to ng makeup. Like, Kailangan ko na ng makeup agad-agad. I just think that this one has more variety kasi. Okay, ito na lang yung pinili ko. You know, I have shimmery blushes. I have matte blushes here. I could play with warm tones if I want to. I could use this for my contour. I could also use this for, you know, to bronze up a bit. I don't know. I just use them interchangeably. But I could use both of these colors. If I want highlighter, I could use both of these two. This has everything that I want for my eyes and for my cheeks. It's somehow neutral and colorful at the same time. Pero syempre mga pinks and oranges na magpapipilihan mo dito. Pero it already satisfies my craving for something colorful na pang tawid nga lang talaga. And then I'll just buy the more colorful shades. And then also for my eyeshadow, pinagpilian ko na rin siguro ng Strokes Pitilab Eye Pink Duo. 
in Long Prism. I wanted something that I could wear, like I could put it on my makeup bag, like when I'm going to work, parang ganon. Just something, <laughs> just something in my makeup bag. Long Prism also complements the shades in the Dia palette, so. I chose this one as well. I want the Desert Flare, pero I think that is too neutral and I think kaya na yun ng Dia palette. So ito na lang yung pinili ko. Plum Prism because I wanted, you know, a, sham a rose gold kind of color that is something missing in the Dia palette. And also something that's like a darker plum color. So ayan. For the eyebrows, it was really, again, and daming options for the eyebrows. I don't know if I should go with a pomade. I don't know if I should go with a... Uh, Eyebrow pencil. I'm not really sure if I should go with just a brow gel. Ang dami na options for the eyebrows. So, ang ginawa ko na lang is something that is quick, something that I could rely on. And ang pinili ko na lang here is the Strokes Beauty Lab Brow Painter in the shade Ash Brown. It's something that's quick and I love the color match. As in, sobrang easy ko lang talaga siya gawin. I could just use, you know, fine strokes, fine brow hairs lang, or I could fill it in. I think that this can do both. And I want to splurge a little bit for my brows. And if kung kaya ng budget ko, I would also add na rin the brow colorist. And I really like how it matches the brown color ng hair ko. So, that's why I went for both. But if I could choose between one lang dito sa dalawa, I would choose the brow painter. Next, lashes, mascara. Dito sa mascara, I can't just choose one. I have to pick two. So, itong dalawang mascara yung pinili ko. Ito yung BLK. Volume Boost Waterproof Mascara. And then, ito si Vice Cosmetics Super Mega Ultra Curl Mascara. I need both. I feel like I really need both. I like how this one holds my curls. I like how it defines my lashes talaga. Kahit na ilang layer ang ilagay mo dito sa lashes mo, hindi siya magdudroop down, hindi siya magumukhang spidery. Ang ganda lang talaga. Pero pang hold lang siya ng curl for me. I want thicker lashes. I want very lush, volumized lashes. So ito ang perfect for that. So ang ginagawa ko, one layer with this one. And then, lot of layers dito. Depende lang on how I want my lashes to look like. Ito siguro yung pinaka-perfect compare sa mascara. As in, I'm really, really happy with these two. But sa eyeliner, I wanted something that could give my eyes a little more depth because I don't have black. So, what I like is the Vice X and Clutes na eyeliner. And I like the black shade. Nila. Just assume that I am actually holding the black one. I could smudge it on my eyes if I want something a little more smoky. I wanted the gel liner because I want to make tight line. I didn't buy a liquid eyeliner because I don't want to make a liquid liner. With this gel liner, I can create a cat eye wing and very soft wing. Lang. Not really something that's sharp, that's very defined, you know, very graphic. I'm happy now with this one. Again, pang tawid lang talaga to <laughs> before I start building my collection again. Alright, for the lips. So, ito na yung pinaka final part. And for the lips, I think I just chose two products. This one is really hard, pero alam mo naman sa lips. Medyo basic lang ako sa lips. Pwede na ako sa neutral. Like, happy na ako sa neutral. I, I'm fine with wearing the same lips over and over again. Yung eyes, eyes lang yung kailangan medyo varied. This one is from Dear Self Beauty Penny na Blur Matte. So, ito yung shade niya. Medyo cool tone, rosy pink siya na shade. Something nude lang talaga na pink, na cooler yung tone. And then, syempre, the one that I'm wearing now is another nude. And I chose from Essie and Co. Lip mousse nila in the shade Babe. Ang ganda talaga na itong shade na to, really. As in, so rosy mousse. I really like this lip color on me as in I love it. Ito yung pinaka favorite kong shade dun sa Casey and Co lip mousse. I like the formula as well. Parang it just gives the nice shine, very plush lang sa lips. Ah, ang ganda. Mm, I like it. Ang gigigil ako. So this one is like my peachy beige nude. Parang sobrang sophisticated lang. And this one is good for everyday, alam mo yun. Ah, I love it. I love both of these. Then, syempre, for my lips, pwede rin itong Get Ready With Me, yung dalawang na-mention ko kanina. But this one is more pink, so something if I want a little more pink. And if I want something, you know, more orange, I like an orange lip to Winter Melon, ayan. So, ito yung swatches ng lip tees. So, ito yung Babe. This is Winter Melon and this is Fruity. 
And this one is Penis. I'm really happy na about this selection of lip products. Kahit na apat lang. Hindi na ako nagdagdag ng lip gloss kasi I'd prefer having, you know, pigmented lips na kaysa yung lip gloss. So, ayan. Hindi na ako nag-choose ng lip gloss products dito. Basta, ayan. Yan yung siguro yung starter ko for the lips. Ayan. Tapos na tayo. So, that is it. That is it for me, guys. These are the products that I would buy first thing pag nawala lahat ng mga makeup products ko. I I think that these are the products that I would miss agad-agad. Not necessarily dun sa eyeshadow kasi like I said, I'm just okay with you know, something that's basic and then I can just add all the other colors that I want next time. Let me know down below kung ano yung listahan nyo, like all the products that you would probably buy. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope to see you in my next video. Much love. Bye-bye.